This lesson is on understanding rates and unit rates. A rate is a ratio where the two terms are different units. Remember when we were comparing water to rice in the last lesson? We were comparing cups of water to cups of rice. The measurement unit was the same. Now we're going to be looking at things like miles per hour. Those are different units of measurement. This is a unit of distance. This is a unit of time. Same thing with miles per gallon. It's a unit of distance, miles, and then gallons is a unit of size. Uh, the other ways to rate it. But these are here. This here is a rate how many miles per how many gallon, how many miles per how many hours. So these are rates. Notice that the word rate and ratio have some commonalities here. Rate and ratio start with the same three letters. No, rat is not the base unit for a rat, for a rate, or a ratio. But the first three letters are the same giving you a clue that they might be related. And you can see, since we're writing them the same, we're going to treat them the same, that yes, they are. What it is, it is a type of a ratio, but the two terms are different units of measurement. Again, measuring miles versus measuring out, comparing miles and hours, comparing miles and gallons, comparing here, pizzas and sodas. So we need to make sure we're writing our labels, pizzas, to sodas are what's being compared here. Five slices of pizza to two sodas. So, and in a unit rate, let's talk about unit rates. A unit rate, the second number in the ratio is one. So we can convert that. How do we turn two into one? We have to divide by two over two. Two divided by two equals one. And since we have to use a magic one, five divided by two is 2.5. So this is equal ratios. Five to two is the same as two and a half to one. So if I have, if for every five slices of pizza I eat, I drink two sodas. If I only drink one soda, then I've only eaten two and a half slices of pizza. But what if I drank four sodas. Remember, we're, our labeling is here is important, so I put two sodas here, four here. So if I only drank four, if I drank four sodas, then how do I do that? Well, it's the same way as what we found equal ratios. We say, how do I turn two into four? I can multiply by two. We'll use a magic one of two over two. Five times two equals ten. So the equal ratio for 5 to 2 is 10 to 4. So if I drink 4 sodas, I've eaten 10 slices of pizza. Let's take a look at some examples from our homework. A rate is a ratio which the two terms are measured in different units. For example, 18 bracelets for three girls. So we write bracelets to girls 18 to 3. So we have 18 bracelets. We have three girls. In a unit rate, the second number is 1. So it's a ratio up to 1. And so for every one girl, there are six bracelets. So that means they could have six bracelets each. So let's take a look at how we would do that. We have 18 to 3. Oops, we forgot our labeling. Bracelets to girls. 18 bracelets to three girls. And we need a unit rate of one. So how do I turn three into one? I'm going to divide by three over three. And 18 divided by three equals six. So my unit rate, so this here is my rate. This is my unit rate because it's set against one. It's a comparison of one to one. Unit rate six to one. Let's look at a couple more examples from our homework. 
problem number two, it says points scored in quarters. So we would write points to quarters. We're re relating points scored to quarters. So how many points? 15 points in four quarters. Because it says write the rate. So the rate is 15 to 4. And we need the unit rate. That's to 1. Well, how do I turn 4 into 1? I'm going to divide by 4. My mat, so my magic 1 is 4 over 4. And 15 divided by 4. Hmm, that's not going to be an easy one not to do on our head. So let's do this. 15 divided by 4. 4 goes into 15. Well, 3 times 4 is 12. 4 times 4 is, six, is 16. So I know, let's go with 3. 3 times 4 is 12. 15 minus 12 is 3. 4 doesn't go into 3 with uh, not uh, evenly. So let's bring down a 0. And don't forget our decimals and our zeros. 4 goes into 30. Well, let's see. 4 times 6 is 24. 4 times 7 is 28. So let's try 7. 7 times 4 is 28. 30 minus 28 is 2. Bring down another 0. 4 goes into 20 five times. So 5 times 4 is 20. All right. So it is a rate of 3.75 to 1. That's our unit rate. So don't let's label this rate and unit rate. So this is what I'm going to want to see. I'm going to want to see points to quarters rate and unit rate. So this is our rate, 15 to 4. And our unit rate is 3.75 to 1. So let's make some comparison with some unit rates here. We have miles to hours, miles to hours, so let's write that, miles to hours, and it's 45 miles in three hours, and they want to know how many miles, a unit rate, that's our rate, and our unit rate is going to be miles in one hour. So how do I turn three into one? I'm going to divide by three. 45 divided by 3 is 15, so our unit rate is 15 miles for one hour. Notice something over here. It says dividing the first number by the second number makes a unit rate. Divide the first number by the second number. 45 divided by 3. Hmm, let's try that out. Remembering that all fractions are division problems, so they're saying it's 45 divided by 3. Well, 45 divided by 3 does equal 15. So that gives us a unit rate of 15 to 1. So let's try that out here. 30 divided by 2 equals 15. Let's try that out. We're comparing kilometers to hours. So kilometers to hours. 30 kilometers in 2 hours, and we need to set that as 1. How do I turn 2 into 1? I'm going to divide by 2. 2 divided by 2 is 1. 30 divided by 2 equals 15. And we got that right, 15 kilometers in 1 hour. So once again, a unit rate is going to be a, a ratio, a comparison to 1. So if you whatever take whatever rate you have, in this case we have 45 to 3, you need to convert that into something over 1. Same thing with all these as well. We'll do one more as an example. 30 to 5, so let's see, miles and seconds, 30 to 5, we can convert that into something over 1. How do I turn 5 into 1? I divide by 5 over 5. 30 divided by 5 is 6. So our unit rate is 6. Of, if we have 30 miles in 5 seconds, if we're comparing 30 to 5, then we can compare 6 to 1.
remember when we see something like miles per hour this is a unit rate because this means one hour if we see miles per let's try that little neater miles per gallon this is a unit rate it is miles per one gallon so this is a unit rate every time you see miles per hour it means for one hour every time you see miles per gallon it means for one gallon this is 50 to 1 17 to 1 these are unit rates